right, we're going on an adventure today with both our pilot and our new to us blue CRV. Funny story, we actually traded this blue CRV for a kayak that we had. It was in terrible shape on the inside and we actually did a whole uh, swap on the inside. Replaced all the seats, everything from the headliner to the floorboard we replaced. And uh, we put some um, General Grabber uh, AT2s on there. And uh, we're gonna send it today and see how it does. Well, Lenny is going to be driving the pilot or the uh, blue CRV named Rippy with her co pilot Safira and her other co pilot Evan McScrooge Beyblader Dude. Right, Evan? <laughs> you think you're gonna get stuck, honey? No way. No way? Mm -hmm. We'll these see. Like, these look like baby puddles. Oh uh, yeah, these do look like baby puddles right here, but I scouted it out and uh, it gets a little more intense up ahead. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> I told you that Rippy, uh, okay. Uh, for everybody who heard that, Rippy has a little bit of a squeal when uh, Rippy's rear differential is activated, it uh, it squeals. It's done that since we got it, and uh, I think eventually we're going to have to replace the rear diff, probably with like a Honda Element diff, maybe to get a little bit more bite back there. Yay! But for the rest of this video, we're going to call that the, uh, the Rippy squeal. Evan, what are you doing? We're gonna go through the first puddle. Are you ready? It started raining. Yeah. It started raining. You splashed up so much water into the air that it started raining. Is it really? Yeah, it's raining a little bit. I heard a lot of squealing happening. <laughs> well. I'm a little worried that the ball joints are going to bust out of Rippy up there, but we'll see. It's about to find out what I'm talking about. Are your ball joints broken off yet? <laughs> I don't think so. You heard a lot of clunking, didn't you? I heard a lot of squeaking. Yeah. I think this is the way we're going to go first. Alright, let's do it. Evan's a bit concerned. Oh yeah, this is a lot of mud, huh Evan? So, Eli asked a good question, I, I guess I'm thinking about this what? now. Uh, maybe. And at some point, I should be in the lead, getting a little bit more footage of the pilot in action, seeing as our, how our channel is Honda Pilot Overland. True. But I, I think we were introducing Rippy to everybody. Yeah, we are. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go straight up the center in the deeper part that I just told you about. All right, okay? go ahead. All right. You ready to pull me out? Right. So the pilot handled it like a champ. If I, I would, see you already have the recovery gear. If I would have already turned off, if I would have turned off the traction control, we would have been good to go. At the end, it got a little uh -huh. fishy I when saw the, the fish tailing a little bit. Well, it throttled me down a little bit. All right, did you get what you needed? Yeah, one of these should work. Ugh. What do you got to do to it? So, see that? Now we take this. Do that. And do this. Now I've got a tow point off the front. All right. Apparently this is how you do it. Yeah, you just put it right there. All right. All right, Evan. It's our turn. Yep. We gotta do it. What did you just tell me to do? 
go fast. Go what? Go fast. Go fast? Want me to go fast? So you don't get stuck or go slow. Or go slow. I don't want you to. <laughs> Come on, Rippy! Rippy! Yeah! Rippy did it! <laughs> nice! That was a lot of squealing. I was going to try to video, but then I was like, oh, no, put the phone down. <laughs> you guys made it! How'd you like that? Good! Was that not scary? No. It wasn't that scary. You were worried, weren't you, for a little while? But now you're not scared, right? But it was scary when I go so deep. Yeah, we did go pretty deep, huh? <laughs> All right, we just made it up to another mud feature that we're going to see if the pilot and Rippy can conquer. We're starting to look like proper off-roading vehicles here. He's a little bit uh, nervous about this mud puddle. The know. next one, but we have the recovery strap. We can pull you out. No. I don't know if Rippy can do this one. So the highest water I found was up, uh, just up to my knee. Yeah. So let's see where that puts us here. It's pretty close to where the darn air intake is on our, on our pilot. So if everybody can see, the air intake on this pilot, this year pilot, is actually below the headlight. Probably isn't worth going through this. Yeah, so, so this one, we can't complete it. It's a no-go uh, due to the water height. You want to flood the cars and not have cars anymore? Is that what you're saying? Do you guys see who got us into that problem on our one video? Driving Challenge at night. accepted. All right, so I talked some sense into a Lenny. Knee height water is too high for the current stock air intakes of these two vehicles. You shouldn't be going into water that's a knee height with these two vehicles. You can drive forward a bit and try to reverse back out if you want. In the blue CRV, what we have is it's an open diff in the front and an open diff in the rear. And where the pilot's different is that the rear can actually lock the rear diff and it can make both the rear wheels spin. The, both the front wheels can't spin, but both the rear wheels in the pilot can spin. Whereas in this car, only one wheel in the front and one wheel in the back will ever spin because of the system it has. So, all right, honey, you can get out now. Back up. Okay, yes you can. I already tried. Try it again. Okay, okay. You're good. Alright, let me switch that toe strap around. So, do you still think you could have made it through all of that? Up to your headlights? Alright, stop. No. Do you, do you think you could have made it through all that? Well, obviously not, since I got stuck here. I know. You were going slow, but you would have gotten stuck at some point. Yeah, yeah. All right, All let right. me switch this thing around. Try to use our traction pads. I was actually looking forward to pulling the uh, CRV out with the pilot, but the uh, strap got kind of wedged in the front, so it's easier just to put these under there and give it a go. Plus, this is a good example of um, solo recovery, so if we had these in this car and we were in this situation, maybe we could get ourselves out. We probably need to tie some ropes into these in the future too. So that we can find them later? Yeah. I'm gonna get the pilot out of the way before you back up too, that yeah. way in case you get some momentum going. Oh, I know. Going. That's why I didn't wanna. Yeah. All right. All right. Start off kind of slow. Here goes nothing. 
All right, stop. I see which one we need to get it closer under. All right. So, I don't think the rear wheels are spinning at all now. What so, does that mean? Is that regular? I don't know exactly what it means. Maybe the front wheels need to spin faster before the rear wheels spin. But I'm just gonna get the strap, the other strap we have. Totally missed it. He totally fell. I can't really see it too good. Now it'll stop water droplets. Hey honey, I told you I wanted to take a shower today. Right. Hey, so pretty funny. Uh, you're in uh, reverse right now, right? Yeah. Look at your tire. What's it doing? You're in reverse, but there's nothing to stop your tire from spinning. All right, YouTubers. Uh, the situation has gone from questionable to bad to very wet. But we are going to try to pull the blue CRV out with the pilot here. And uh, test some different recovery points and whatnot that we have. So I'm about to get wet. You got it. But we can't look backwards. <laughs> well, that was probably the worst little bit of footage I, I filmed, but we did get her out. <laughs> Rippy lives to fight another day. <laughs> Well, <laughs> we got Rippy unstuck. Yep. Rippy. Rippy. Yeah. Oh, you gotta bleep out the other side though. Uh, bleep bleep. Rippy. Now my hair's a mess, but whatever. Yeah. We're ready for uh, dinner at my mom and dad's house tonight though, at least this right. point, right? <laughs> Yay! Evan, we got you out. Are you happy? I feel that you pulled us out a little Did you bit like hurt. that? Don't all right, so we're gonna try to take the pilot down to the same spot that the CRV got stuck at. See All if right. it gets stuck. Wait, okay, I'm gonna get it, Eli. It's huge. Guys, look at this mosquito I just smashed. That's practically a bird. Right, guys? Baby bird. It didn't bite you, did it? Nah. I just saw. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Godspeed. Yeah. All right, let's see. Yeah, he's about to the same spot. I think he already passed it. Well, you did better than I did. The pilot had the snorkel. I think the pilot wants to make wants to go all the way. So uh -huh. we need to get a snorkel. All right, everybody. Yeah, yeah. That was a mosquito. Help us buy our. I'll put a snorkel on snorkel. this. If, if someone helps fund it, I will put a snorkel on it. I think it's going to cost about $250 for a snorkel. Mosquitoes are eating us. And then we'll try it. Yeah. We'll come back and try it. Oh, All right. That's a wrap, I guess, right? I think that is a wrap. We're going to head out this road here. We might get a little bit of B-roll on the way out. But, yeah, that's it for right now. And, uh, yeah, this was interesting. If you guys want to see more of this, make sure you... Uh, subscribe yeah. and like and give us a thumbs up. thumbs up well was that a fun adventure yeah all right Evan. yeah what tell tell the people what they need to know as you're going home yeah say please like and subscribe to our channel please like and subscribe to our channel <laughs> and comment below and comment below say over and out Oh, yeah.